Welcome to day three of our road trip. Geocaching down the north shore of Lake Erie. <laughs> yeah. Our first stop brings us to a four one and a half geocache. Yeah, so let's get going. See if we can find this creative hide. Let's go. It's not in there. Oh, there's something here. Oh. That's promising because that matches the hint. Aha, we got it. Yay. I'm glad that didn't take too long because sometimes we're stumped by some of these. Yeah, but uh, this one makes sense, you know, a tap in the woods, it's right near a well, so that kind of makes sense. Otherwise, it would be very out of place. Very cool. Deserves a favorite point for sure. There's a geocache down there. Oh yeah? Would you take the bait? Okay. Took the bait and we got it. Another cache done. Next up, an adventure lab. Welcome to Rondeau Provincial Park, Ontario's second oldest provincial park. This adventure lab takes you to seven stops along the popular Tulip Tree Trail. As you walk along from east to west along the trail, you notice the slightly rolling landscape of ridges and valleys, and typical of a lake action that formed the peninsula. These low-lying areas are prone to seasonal flooding and are called sloughs. They're temporary wetlands that are cut off from any source of flowing water. They are at their deepest in the spring and can be completely dry by late summer. Just walking along the path, we were lucky to be able to spot a blue-tailed skink. Any in regions? Yeah, oh. that we Here have and salamanders down and down things. Like and there's another one. He just came out top. The other one's the, an adult at the top. Oh, cool. It was a really interesting adventure lab. We got to see some new species. We even got to see a blue-tailed sphinx. S skink. Skink. We skink. got to we got to see a blue-tailed sphinx. Skink. We got to see a blue-tailed skink, which is rare to the area. Yep. And the only issue we had with the Adventure Lab is that it should have been open and not linear uh, because the internet connection was so tight. And, and uh, if, it's, yeah. if it's open, then yeah. we can just open the field and answer the questions mm -hmm. when we have Wi-Fi. Yeah. So when you're creating an Adventure Lab, think of that. If you have low connectivity problems, mm -hmm. keep the Adventure Lab open and you can do an Adventure Lab through airplane mode if you open up the Adventure Lab first and get that into your phone's data. Yeah.
This cache that we're going after next has been nagging me for a while. It was placed in 2003, and it's not that far from home. It's at John E. Pierce Provincial Park, and it's a beautiful trail to get there, and hopefully we'll get this one. It's only a 1-1, one, one, so it shouldn't be that hard. In theory. In theory. <laughs> I read the last log and Boz 5 mentioned her heart sank when she saw all the fallen logs and that's the hint. It's under a fallen log, but it's not. And uh, she said it followed her geosenses and that's what I did. And there we go. An oldie. Doesn't smell like it, it smells pretty good. Oh boy. We've got cash for kids or coins for kids, except it's all pennies. What do we do, Neil? Over the last few months, I've been geocaching locally, and I've been finding some coins and some caches. I've also been out to Kansas for Mingo Madness, and we've found some coins in Kansas and Colorado. I hope that you're finding coins and that you're saving them for December when Geocache Talk has their podcast of hope, and you can donate that to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you're participating in hashtag Coins for Kids. They're all pennies, and Canada doesn't have pennies anymore, and there, there's some American ones in there, but I don't, you can't take them to the bank anymore. But I was able to pull out 25 cents, so we'll put that towards our Coins for Kids campaign for St. Jude's. So nice to finally get that one done. Yeah, that was a challenging one to find. Yeah, and I'm glad it wasn't a DNF. That would have been embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, uh, this is nearing the end of this episode, mm -hmm. and we'll see you again uh, further along. Yeah, we're continuing on the north shore of Lake Erie. Yep. Yeah. But right now, we're on our way to do a live broadcast with, with Hailmeister, Hailmeister, which is why we've been wearing these shirts all day, because today, this episode, is Hailmeister Day. 1,000 subscribers he's got. Yes, he's done so well. So uh, we're going to be on the 1,000 subscriber and help him celebrate. milestone episode. And you can check the link to that right here. Right there? Right there. Yeah, right there. so there you go. So that's it for us on this episode. We'll see you again. Keep watching. There's more caches to be found. Right down the North Shore of Lake Erie. Where will geocaching take, take you? you? Yeah, you can see it. It's just he's not really doing anything. That you yeah, he's got him in the upper right. Our first stop brings us to a four, one and a half geocache. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>